Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Toad from Super Mario. So we're going to start with the eyes. Let's start with the left eye. We're going to draw an oval. Starting from the top, come down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. At the top area here, we're just going to draw a little cut along this top for a highlight. So we're just going to curve across from left to right. We'll color the bottom area in black. Let's move over to the right side and do the same thing. So we want to line up the top and draw that oval to the bottom, back up to the top, and again we're going to draw a curve from left to right for the highlight. Let's color the bottom area in black. From here let's move over to the mouth, so we're going to step down in between the eyes, we're going to draw a curve from left to right, just below the eyes, going across. From here I'm going to draw the bottom of the mouth, so we're going to take those two points and connect them with a curve down towards the bottom of the mouth. And then on the ends of the mouth, I just want to show a little bit of the cheek. So we're going to draw a little curve just on the corners going out. Let's give them the tongue. So up here on the left, curve across and up over towards the right. Now we've got the head that's basically a circle, but it's pushed up against the mushroom cap head. So above the eyes, we're going to draw that little seam. So on the left side of the left eye, draw a curve going up in the middle, above the eyes, and over towards the right side. We're going to connect those two points with a half circle going underneath the chin, underneath this mouth. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down, underneath the mouth, and we're going to curve back up towards the right. Just smoothly curve it around like that. Okay, now the toughest part of this lesson is drawing the big circle for the mushroom cap head. So what we want to do is we want to start on the left side and just curve across and just try to keep an even circle just keeping our eye on this imaginary circle here. So I'm going to start here, I'm going to come up, and I just want to drop to probably about here. So starting on the left, I'm going to go out, and every once in a while you can just stop and pause, take a look, and just make sure you're still heading along a nice smooth sort of circular path. So here I'm going to continue along, and now that I can see the whole circle, I'm just looking back and forth, from left to right, and making sure that my circle is nice and smooth. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and add the little circles in the head. So on the left side here, you'll see just the edge of the left side. Starting up here, we're just going to curve out and back in. We're going to do the same thing on the right. So lining up the tops, we're going to curve across like that. In the center, there's this one big circle here. So again, we're going to challenge ourselves with these circles. Starting from the top, we're going to work our way around counterclockwise. Start this way, we're going to go back up to the top, come in the opposite direction. Now let's find it easiest to sort of keep it open as you're drawing. So I don't want to draw it this way because eventually my hand's going to block the circle. I'm not going to be able to see how big that circle is. So let's go down to the body. We're going to draw the vest line on the center here. So underneath the chin, we're going to leave a little gap. On the left side, we're going to curve down and out towards the left. And then we're going to do the opposite on the right side, down and out towards the right. We're going to curve the bottom of the vest. So on the left, curve down and over towards the left, down and over towards the right this way. We're going to pull these curves in underneath the chin. Curving up underneath the chin, leaving a little gap up here. On the right, we're just going to curve out like that. We're going to add a little trim on the inside vest. So up here, we're just going to trace this curve on the inside. Curving across and then up. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving down and then across. From this point, I'm going to draw in one of the feet. So I'm going to have them sort of running. One of the feet is going to be pointing up, so you can see the bottom of this foot. So I'm going to draw an oval here, sort of tilted this way. Starting right from that corner, I'm going to curve around and then back up and pull that right in. So this is the bottom of the foot. He's got this little foot pad at the bottom. So a smaller oval, just on the inside like that. Let's draw on the bottom of the body. So here, I want to show the vest overlapping the body a little bit. So I'm going to move over towards the right, curve down towards the bottom of the body, and then pull this in behind that foot. This foot, you're just going to see the top of it because it's sort of kicked back behind the body. So right here, curve around. It's almost like the same oval that I have on the right. It's just tucked in behind here. Let's draw on the arms. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to draw the pants seam. So right up here, right behind the vest, I'm going to draw a curve across like that. Let's draw in the left arm. So I'm going to have the hands out like this. So I'm going to start with the bottom of the hand first because I'm going to do a series of overlaps for the fingers. 
So I just want to make sure there's enough room for the arm. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the arm here. I'm going to curve up and out towards the left. I'm going to do an overlap, curving out, and then pulling this back in. I'm going to do a series of overlaps here. So at the top of this finger, I'm just going to curve out. And then on top of that finger, I'm going to curve out. Let's draw in the thumb. So we're going to overlap that line, curving in towards the face. Now I'm going to pull this back in, and then just pull it down. So there's a little curve to both of these lines. I'm going to do an overlap here. So I'm going to tuck the thumb on top of the arm, and just pull the arm in underneath the chin. Let's do the same thing on the right. So I'm going to line up the bottom of the arm. I'm going to curve up. Curving up. And I'm going to do that same thing. So overlapping. Curving around, back in, we do that series of overlaps. From the second finger, and then that third finger. I'm going to extend this line just a little bit more. Now for the thumb, I'm going to overlap that line, curving in towards the face, round up the thumb, and then pull this back down. Now from here, I just want to overlap, curve it underneath the chin like that, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Toad from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.